Okay, here we are at uh, Sauce and Steve's again, having a look at his Asiera. And this is a machine we picked up um, from south of London and essentially was the relics of an old Asiera, Asiera F3. And it's now been heavily modified. Hi Steve, you're going to show us what you've done with this machine? Uh, well, most of it is non original. The uh, original parts were the base, the slide here without the table or the tilt and swivel, uh, the main uh, casting here with the dovetails in and the horizontal uh, head. The rest of it has been cobbled together, added on or um, modified heavily uh, and it's now CNC. Okay. And the horizontal slide for the vertical head uh, this one here. Yes. Yeah. That's that's fabricated out of box section steel and plate steel welded together. The front end is uh, is all fabricated out of aluminium and steel. Okay. So we can see you've got quite a big motor on the top of that. What sort of motor is that? A uh, half horse three phase driven from a, a variable frequency inverter. And the inverters are below in the box. No, nope, they're round on these saddle tanks here, which which spread all the way round the back which is a, an addition obviously to house all the electronics and all the wiring, relays and everything else. It's actually in the back. Okay. And this, uh, what would you call it, the, the, the headstock or the vertical you know, bearings here? I can see a sight level just in front. Oh, these. Uh, they're, they're a standard idea, a pair of tapered roller bearings. I put them in an oil filled uh, box. Um, and the site level there shows me that the oil is being pumped up as a, as a helical pump that I built into there so it always makes sure the top bearing is supplied so there's a light, light machine oil or hydraulic oil in there just to keep the bearings lubed. Okay and on the side I can see some stops, uh, these are aluminium boxes. Well these job is here. Yeah. Right they're um, home and limit switches which are on all axes uh, as a homebrew arrangement again just some aluminium blocks that I've machined up and fitted with micro switches inside. It turned out to be very accurate actually in terms of uh, repeatability and positional accuracy, although certainly to within a, um, a thou or two. Okay that's good and that's just uh, milled out of solid? I just milled out a solid block with some micro switches put in, a few springs and bits and pieces. Okay and on the front now we... well so you've got the normal X, Y and Z axes, yep, running yep. off Mac 3. So you've got your um, X axis which obviously moves the, the whole arrangement up and down here. Uh, the Y axis which moves this overhead in and out. So, same, same as a normal ACR, it's built on a, a, a block arrangement. So the slide is at the top here and the slide at the front here. So that moves out for the Y and the Z axis moves this way. Now slightly unusual the Asieras and the decal type machines in that they have a, a flat plate here which the bed is not bolted to and the bed can in some uh, machines can actually rotate that way and can tilt forwards and backwards as well. It's an arrangement that um, makes it a very universal machine. Unfortunately this one didn't have that so I went along to my usual um, very helpful suppliers Arc Euro Trade um, and uh, purchased uh, a spare part for uh, an X3 milling machine which was this um, bed here, table rather here and uh, made my own bracketry and uh, fittings for it. Okay and you've just put a new suds tray in? Uh, well that suds tray I, I got fed up with stuff all over the machine and dribbling down and a lot of the stuff with CNC is fairly small work anyway um, so I thought rather than have the whole machine covered in suds I'd make a, an alternate suds tray which is on bull race slides here. So the suds sit in here. I've fabricated a small pump as yet to be attached there 12, out of a 12 volt motor and some bits and pieces and that'll be plumbed into the uh, plumbed into the coolant system so that the, um, the table will then drain off into this rather than draining all over the whole machine. Okay and you bang that out of uh Stainless steel? That was a piece of stainless steel that um, that was cut up and uh, welded together, yeah. And you just use a, a stick welder with stainless steel rods? Yep. Yeah, and then a grinder? And a grinder. 
Okay, we'll stop it there and have a look uh, in the next video at the sharpening kit.